and welcome to Karma's a Stitch. I'm Tanya and this is episode 80 um, and this is where I talk about knitting and crochet stuff. Uh, I used to say we because my son used to join me but he started college and so he doesn't do much crafting anymore. He's got too many other exciting things going on so we'll let him have that for a little while. <laughs> um, I am sorry about my attire and I'm sure you can see I'm hot. It is so hot. Today's high hit 108 degrees where I'm at Fahrenheit, which is, um, I know when the last time I looked, it was 42 degrees Celsius, but I think that was 107 Fahrenheit. So I'm hot. It's so hot. Um, but I am here. Today is the day. I'm so excited to be able to roll the dice tonight. Alex is having a sleepover with her friend. Alex is my eight-year-old, if you're new here. And so she, if you hear things in the background, I'm so sorry, but I said I'm doing this today. So we're doing it today. Uh, I just finished Christmas in July vlogs and I had so much fun. I got so many things finished in July. I got three Christmas stockings, I got a pair of socks, I got a cardigan, and I cast on an amazing Stephen West uh, wrap. I want to say shawl, but it's more of a wrap, and it's kind of straight along wedge, one edge, and it's got like a long, it's 88 inches. It's got an 88 inch wingspan, and I had so much fun. The whole month of July, I had a great time, and Alex was out of school, so I got to do a lot of great stuff with her. It was just a wonderful, wonderful month. So. For those of you that joined in that, thank you so much. You guys make this such a fun way to spend my time and share my craftiness and all the things that I'm getting into. So thank you so much for everybody who participated and all the amazing comments. You guys are so, you guys are just wonderful. So thank you. Um, the Le Pouf, and you can see it sitting in the background here. The Le Pouf cardigan is one that I finished during July, I started, uh, like I wanna say June 28th is the day that I started that cardigan and I got it done. Like all of this stuff started and finished in July. But the Le Pouf cardigan was one that was a make along with my two local yarn shops. And August 4th, there is a big barbecue being hosted by these two yarn shops. And I am so excited to have a finished cardigan. I might, it's going to be way too hot to wear, but I may take it and weave in some ends. I probably won't, but it's a really good thought. I'll take it, but it won't. Yeah, it'll go to the barbecue, but I don't know that I'll actually do anything with it. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. Um, but this whole year I have been doing, um, my episodes a little bit differently. So if you guys are new here, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining. Um, if you haven't hit the like and subscribe button, please consider doing so. If not, don't do it. Maybe you don't want all the notifications. Just stop in when you'd like to. However, what I have been doing differently is I have what's called a whip wall. And this wall has a bunch of cubbies on it and I have numbered across and I have project bags in each cubby. And then I have a dice app on my um, iPad and right now I have it set on a 12 sided dice. There are 18 cubbies. However, I have it set at 12 because I want to do the top two rows first. Those are projects that I came into 2024 with, and these are the ones I'd really like to focus on getting finished by the end of 2024, with the exception of the blankets. The blankets that came in, they're probably gonna be languishing after the end of 2024, but they're gonna be there and I'm gonna work on them. So. I have the dice set up to just roll one through 12. And whatever dice it rolls, or whatever number the dice rolls, there's when you see the screen, there's two dice. The 
first one is gonna tell me what cubby to go to, and the second one is gonna tell me which project bag to take out of that cubby, because some of them have two project bags in them. And so if it says, let's say seven, two, then I will go to the seventh cubby and take the second project bag out of it. And I did not do that for the entire month of July. I focused on my Christmas in July projects and I got all of them done. I did not get the Stephen West um, wrap finished, but I got all the other things finished and I am so ready to roll the dice. So let's do that. Okay, so let's see what 4-1 has in store for me. This is the Maddie sweater. I don't think I cast this on. When did I cast this on? Ooh, I don't know. I think I cast this on since the beginning of the year. That's okay. We're going to work on it anyway. It's what I rolled. It's what it's meant to be. Here's a picture of the Maddie sweater. I have the pattern torn up on top, I'm so sorry. So if you've been around here, I really love the sleeves. The sleeves can make it or break it for me as far as projects go. And then here's the back. Um, here is my progress. These here are holding this little, there's a panel that goes across the top of the shoulders. And so these DPNs are holding those stitches for me as I work down the body. So there is a progress keeper here. I am going to move that right now so that it is accurate. And it looks like I'm ready to just knit and go and go and go. Um, for 13 inches apparently I'll probably do more because that's what I do but there we are that's how far it says from the underarm so that's what I'll be doing this will be an easy catch pick up and start knitting project for me the wool that I'm using is I believe what the pattern calls for Kathmandu yep Kathmandu Fingering, it's a luxurious merino silk and cashmere tweed. It's 100 grams for 425 yards. It's 85% wool, 10% silk, 5% cashmere. It's Queensland collection, but look at that blue, you guys. Ah, so that's what I will be working on this next week, okay? So I'm gonna get this over here and set this aside because I have some more things to share with you. Um, if you watched my Christmas in July, you will know that I talked about August 1st because today is August 2nd as I'm recording this. August 1st, um, Mandy over at um, Mouse's Makes on YouTube. Um, she also has a yarn company, which is Mouse Witch Yarns. And she was ready to cast on some projects. And let me tell you, listening to her explain how many she's gonna be casting on and her justification is totally worth the watch if you have not done so. So please go check out Mandy and she'll share all about her casting ons. <laughs> um, but a few of us, we Zoomed together and um, there were a few of us that were gonna cast on with her. And so let me share with you what I ended up casting on. So in this project bag made by my mom, I did end up casting on three items, um, one knitted project and two crochet projects. So this one is called Summer Candy. It's by Ute Navratil. And all of this will be listed in the description box down below. Um, 
So I cast this on and I will show you my progress so far. There you go. So, oops, my printer. The wool that I'm using, this is a Zauber ball. Zauber ball. And the color is Dark Roses Inspiration. And I am holding that with um, Barocco Vintage. There you go. Um, with this pattern, I did end up casting on, it tells you if you're gonna make it larger or smaller um, to increase by increments of, I think, 10. And um, so I did cast on more stitches than it, re it said to, but mainly because I do like a nice long wrap and I'm gonna make this a bit longer. So I am pretty excited about this. I'm at a point where I'm getting ready to go back and do another stripe of color. But this is gonna go on the whip wall as a new cast on. I do wish I could just sit here and knit on it, but I cannot. I'm going to work on my my Maddie sweater because that's also fun. I think that's the prop. Oh, we'll talk about that later. So this next project that I'm casting on is a crochet project. I did find this on, on Ravelry. I believe it was a free pattern, but I'm not for sure. Um, be I'll put up here if it was free or not, because um, I will double check while I'm editing. But this is called the Lattice Shawl, and it is by Nicole Chase. And look at that. Talk about enjoying long wraps. Oof. I love it. I love that so much. Here's the stitch. Sorry about the glare, you guys. So that is what I'm working on. Now, the yarn that I'm using, I actually got at a garage sale. I have no idea what it is. This is the sticker that was with it. Um, Violet gray wool and cotton. That's, it was somebody's handwriting. And this is what I have. It's on the back of maybe a book. I don't know what that is. Or a recipe, nope, a pattern. I see the word skeins the linen per pound skeins, but of course it's torn off. So that's all the information that I've got. Now I ended up going to Three Loves, which is the yarn shop that I help out at sometimes, and we weighed it, okay? And there were 354 grams total that I've got. And we wound it and we measured how much we had how many yards per gram that we have. And I have 1,770 yards. Okay, so that's what I've got. This is the color. Oh, you guys, look at that. This is one of two cakes that we put together from that 354 grams. So there's one. And the second one is actually attached to my cast on. Now, in all honesty, this is my least favorite cast on. And I, I know exactly why. I know exactly why. So here's the second cake. That's the one that's attached to my project, which I'll show you. <sighs> look at that, you guys. It's so pretty. Now, if you were to look at... Um, this wool, you see how it's super thin right there and it gets thicker and then it gets thinner. That's how it is through the whole project, the whole skein. I, but I personally like it. I think it's gonna add depth to the project um, and that's not bothering me in the least. I am using a 3.25 millimeter hook or a size D.
And here is my progress so far. <laughs> That's all I got, you guys. It's upside down. So here is my progress so far. It's not much, I know. I know. But I can tell you, I love this. Okay, I love that. And I am crazy about this. I want this so bad, which is why I will push myself to finish this project. I don't want to, in six months, be frogging this project. I've been looking at this wool for over a year, thinking how beautiful it is and what am I gonna make with it. And I found this, this wrap. And I really, I really do wanna make this wrap with this wool. However, I started crocheting when I was, um, when I was nine years old which is wonderful and I'm so glad that I did, but I was never taught how to crochet. I just kind of did things and figured it out. I didn't have a grandparent or a parent who did it. I didn't have some super crafty aunt. Like I just, I don't even know. I think it was a friend's mom who had, was having a garage sale and I, I don't even know if that's true. I don't know, I think that's where I got it. My first hook and I don't even know, you guys. <laughs> Um, but I, I somehow came up with this hook and this ball of yarn and I just started crocheting and I made things. I made scarves, I made blankets, I made my mom a cast. She had, her thumb was broke and her cast was super dirty and so I made a cover for her cast. So I figured out how to make a gusset. Like I did all the things by myself and figured it out. And now here I am, all grown up, and following a crochet pattern is one of the hardest things for me to do. I struggle with crochet patterns. I struggle with crochet charts. I just, I struggle with it. This is a pattern and each row is different. And um, so, I'm working through that, but it's it wasn't my favorite to cast on yesterday. <laughs> but maybe I'll come around. Maybe it'll be all right, and I'm sure I'll start enjoying it. I want to say it's like six rows, and you just repeat those six rows. So I'm sure once I've done it a couple of times, it'll it'll ease up for me. But. The third project, that's not the third project, that was the first project. The third project that I cast on yesterday <laughs> is my favorite. It, this is, this is my favorite one. Um, I don't have a picture for it. I'm sure there's loads of them on Ravelry. I didn't take this from Ravelry. There's no pattern for it. It's just a particular stitch. Um, I did look up a uh, YouTube on how to start because it's a corner to corner because I wasn't sure how big I was going to make it because I'm doing this with minis. Now I had a trunk show at my local yarn shop and the, the lovely Laura from always be kind yarn. Um, had a trunk show and I ended up getting one of each of her colors of minis. So I, I did get a video of that. I'll try to insert it here. I know I included it with my Christmas and July vlogs. So I don't know if I've already deleted that video or not, but I'll double check. Um, but with those 42 minis and a neutral color, which I just grabbed what I had in stash, um, I am doing a blanket that is linen stitch. I am doing this with a size D hook, which is a 3.25. And I will tell you, these are my new favorite hooks. Okay, I, this has helped. I have something larger to hold on to. 
It curves with my hand. This has been so lovely for my carpal tunnel. I can't even, I can't even tell you enough. Um, but I am using Cascade. It's just a natural color as my neutral. And I am doing a right side and a wrong side, a linen stitch. Look at this, you guys. Ooh, tell me how gorgeous. I'm so, so crazy about this project. So a right side, wrong side, and I'm changing colors. I'm doing five stripes of each color and then I'm changing, okay? and then I'm changing. So here I've got two stripes of this color three. So this yellow, this neon was one, this was two, and this was three. And I'm just putting this neutral color in between each stripe. Oh, you guys, so pretty. And that is actually part, it's dyed on there. I don't have something fuzzy on there. It's actually part of the yarn. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I'm so excited about this blanket. This is another one I wish I could just keep out and work on and work on and work on. I can see this being my Sunday project bag that, that goes to church with me. I could see that happening. Um, but yes, I have 42 minis. So you just saw the three colors that I had already in the blanket. And then I've got the other colors in order. If you want to see the color order they will be in. Loosen them up a little bit. There you go. So I started here. So that's how the colors will go. Sorry. I can't really. Ugh. There's a few of them that you can't see, you guys. You get the gist though, huh? There you go. It's about the best I can do. So those are how the blanket's going to go. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And as I'm doing this, um, as I'm doing this, I, you just saw this is color three that I'm working on right now, but I have quite a bit left of each color. So this is color two. I have quite a bit left, so I'll probably be rotating through them. That's my plan, is to rotate through the colors multiple times. Um, but that's my third cast on from my casting on with my Zoom friends, which was awesome. Now, I also mentioned that I have the dates for our next cast on party. I have had a couple of emails, a couple of Instagram messages asking when is the next cast on party. Um, I don't typically do one in the fall because folks are kind of gearing up for the Christmas makes, you know, projects and gifts that they are making for loved ones or coworkers or neighbors or whomever, whoever people gift knit for. There's, and, and people are working on getting stuff done for holiday fairs or craft fairs that they do. Um, and so I don't typically do one in the fall. And then there's the big um, mystery knit along with Stephen West that so many people participate in that the idea of a cast on party just before that always seemed like something I wouldn't do. And obviously I wouldn't do one in the month of October when that mystery knit along is going on. And then after that is Christmas time. So I've never really done one in the fall. However, if folks are wanting a cast on party, I am so happy to do one and host one. And it, it's a great time. It's off, awfully social and it's wonderful. Um, however, this one would be a little bit different. I would open up the room from 10 a.m. my time, and I'm in Idaho um, in the U.S., so 10 a.m. my time to 10 p.m. my time on Saturday the 24th, um, and depending on how many people signed up for that and wanted to participate in that, 
Um, I would also open it up from um, probably noon on Sunday my time to 10 p.m. my time on Sunday, just so that people wanted to participate could. Um, however, I do go to church on Sunday, and so I wouldn't be able to open it up until a little bit later on Sunday. But that way, I'm going to bed a little bit earlier, and folks that have wanted to participate and haven't been able to participate, either because we already had folks filled up um, or that date didn't work, there's two different dates. It's the same weekend. It's a Saturday and a Sunday. And you guys let me know. If that's something that you would enjoy, it really is just a big, open, great opportunity to sit and knit and meet people. And it's they've always just been wonderful. So those dates would be August 24th and August 25th. Let me know if you're interested and I will, um, I will put that together. And then there's one last thing. I feel like I've sped through this. It's only been 25 minutes. I feel like I've raced through this. Um, but we had a really big, exciting thing happen in Chris, during Christmas in July for our channel. It was a big deal. And I didn't mention it because I was, I was waiting until our actual recorded episode, but we hit 500 subscribers and that's a really big deal and that is so exciting you guys it blew my mind that there's 500 people that enjoy the content that we've been putting together and enjoy having me yap at them from their telephone or their ipad or their tv screen in their living room while they're doing whatever it is they're doing and I just, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me and being a part of this community. It truly has been wonderful. I love engaging with everybody and the comments. It really has been wonderful. So in the spirit of YouTubing and milestones, we are going to have a giveaway. So I have a project bag here that was done by, it was made by my mother. But you get a good look at that. It's got purple interior. Okay, it has a drawstring, um, but it, it is just a string on one side. It, there is a hole on the second side, so if you wanted to put a second one and cinch it, you could. So there's the project bag and oh. I'm going to put two skeins of hand dyed wool inside of this project bag. Now these two skeins were dyed by Anthony and myself. Um, they are singles. They are, I'll have to go back and get all the details because I don't have the label attached to them right now. Um, but they're going to go in this project bag. We're going to have a drawing. I'm probably going to do the drawing. Um, the last week of August, probably right before that cast on party if we're gonna do that. I will give more information as to when we're gonna do that drawing, but it will not be for several weeks. So if you're interested in winning this project bag and these two skeins of hand dyed wool, hand dyed by my son and myself, um, leave a comment down below. And um, I don't know, leave a comment down below and talk about nothing. I don't care, just leave a comment below. If you leave a comment, I'm gonna assume you want the draw, you wanna be entered in the drawing, unless your comment specifically says, Tanya, please don't enter me in the drawing. <laughs> um, so if you leave a comment to this video, um, and it needs to be related to the episode, um, then we'll be doing that drawing at the end of this month. So you guys, that's it. I sped through this. Do you see that? Probably because I know that as soon as I'm done recording this, me and those two little girls are gonna go to the grocery store and we're gonna get some ice cream so we can make sundaes tonight. Um, maybe that's why I was talking too fast. <laughs> 
But you guys, I hope you're all doing so good. If there's anything that you have questions about that I don't cover in the show notes below, please don't hesitate to send me an email. My email is listed in the description box below and all the ways you can get in touch with me are there as well. So you guys, I hope everybody's doing great and I will see you in about a week. Bye.